thunder booms and lightning crashes, leaving boots filled with ashes. As we lay you down to rest, we read the pages of the Dead Man's Digest. Hey everyone, and welcome to day 13, unlucky for some, of the Dead Man's Digest look back at Halloween Horror Nights Orlando history. This episode is brought to you by the unofficial Universal Orlando podcast, and we will continue our look back at the history of HHN with Halloween Horror Nights 29. The event took place over 36 nights at Universal Studios Florida. The cost of a single ticket began at $67.99, and express passes started at $89.99. And the houses that year were Stranger Things, which was in Soundstage 25. Prepare to go even further into the chilling world of the Upside Down as Stranger Things returns to Halloween Horror Nights in an all-new haunted house. Experience the most terrifying moments of Stranger Things Season 2 and 3 as you face snarling demodogs and scream through iconic scenes from Hopper's Cabin to the Starcourt Mall. Nightingale's Blood Pit in Sprung Tent 1 Ancient Rome has suffered its worst drought in centuries. A ruthless emperor has declared the gladiatorial games will continue non-stop until the rain returns. The Nightingales, a grisly race of creatures, are drawn to the dead and dying. You enter the fray just as the rain begins to fall, recoiling with fear and disgust as the ravenous Nightingales feed. Try to survive alongside gladiators, but with nothing to protect you, your history. Universal Monsters in the New Parade Building Frankenstein, Dracula, the Wolfman, the world's most terrifying monsters have come together to tear you apart. Flee through a dark Bavarian forest as the savage Wolfman grows ever closer. Try to escape from the man-made monster within Dr. Frankenstein's laboratory. Face the fang terrors in Dracula's castle and encounter other untold horrors. It's the more, the scarier. Depths of Fear in Sprung Tent 2 A deep-sea mining company has built an installation deep in the ocean, but the waters are infested with parasitic mouth brooders. They soon slither inside the mine and spew acidic eggs upon unwilling human hosts. You are paralysed with horror as the infected are driven to violent madness. The pressure is building. Implosion is imminent. The creatures are everywhere. There is no escape from your watery grave. I guess we managed to. Yeti, terror of the Yukon in Soundstage 24B. In a remote part of Canada that's all but uninhabitable, loggers and trappers seek refuge from the cold, but there is no escape from beasts as brutal as the winter. Enter a logging camp that's been torn apart. Cringe at the trail of blood leading to caves no humans have lived to see. You're in Yeti territory, and they'll stop you cold. Such an awesome house. Ghostbusters in Soundstage 22. A rift between worlds has opened, releasing apparitions of every shape and size. Step right into the original film where Slimer and other ghoulish spirits, spectres and ectoplasm-dripping phantasms materialise where you least expect. Your screams are going to be big. Stay puffed marshmallow man big. That's a terrible pun. Killer clowns from outer space in the Shrek theatre. If ever there was a reason why people are afraid of clowns, this is it. The killer clowns from outer space have landed in an all-new haunted house. Don't let them encase you in one of their cotton candy cocoons, or you could end up as a gooey snack. These killer clowns won't make you scream with laughter. Just scream. Jordan Peele's Us in Soundstage 24A Jordan Peele's new original nightmare comes to life as the Wilson family faces the ultimate opponent, themselves. Enter the fun house on the Santa Cruz Pier where you'll experience the horror of little Adelaide Wilson when she comes face to face with her menacing mirror image. Freeze in terror and disbelief as the Wilson family, and you, and a lot of bunnies, are hunted at every turn by terrifying doubles of themselves known as the Tethered. If you're seeing double, you're in trouble. Graveyard Games in the Parade Building Enter the gates of a cemetery in the dead of night where disrespectful teens have awakened vengeful spirits. Ghosts rise to torment those who disturb them. Skeletal beings send fear into your bones. The rictus smiles of ghostly apparitions match the screams frozen on your face. Don't be caught dead here after dark. 
And finally, Rob Zombie's House of a Thousand Corpses in the MIB tent. From Captain Spaulding's Museum of Monsters and Mad Men, kept wanting to say mayhem there, to the home of the psychotic Firefly family, Rob Zombie's epic horror masterpiece comes to life. Scream all you want, you won't find any mercy at the decrepit Firefly house. After all, what's one more corpse when there are a thousand others inside? And moving on, the scare zones in Halloween Horror Nights 29 were an arcade in Plaza of the Stars. A sinister 80s-inspired arcade has taken over the Avenue of the Stars and you'll only get one life. Black lights, a gang of neon slashers, lasers, it could be a party. Except for the chainsaws. Once you scream, it's game over. Zombieland Double Tap in New York. Check the back seat. Beware the bathrooms. Always double tap. Obey every rule if you don't want to end up a zombie snack. Welcome to the United States of Zombieland. You may know the first film, but you've got to make it through the sequel too. Can you survive while everyone around you becomes meat? Vikings Undead in Central Park. Brutal horn-helmeted warriors have risen from the grave and laid siege to Central Park. Barred from Valhalla, the Viking paradise, these skeletal fighters have channeled their vindictive rage into an endless onslaught of gore. Bloodlust never dies. Vanity Ball in Hollywood. Your flesh is the canvas in Hollywood. Rabid fans cheer as their favourite blade-wielding artists slice up willing participants into horrific living works of art. And they can't wait to take a scalpel to you. And finally, Rob Zombie's Hellbilly Deluxe in South Street. I didn't even know that was called South Street, in fairness. Step into the heavy metal horror of Rob Zombie as many of his most popular songs have come to life. Zombies haunting lyrics and pulse-pounding music crank up the intensity as you and your pursuers are driven to an adrenaline fueled frenzy of raging madness. And there were two shows that year. Halloween Horror Nights 29 saw the return of Academy of Villains. In Academy of Villains Altered State in the Fear Factor stage, the wicked talented group of artists is back for an all new bigger and better performance featuring a killer mix of dance and theatrics. And finally, the pièce de résistance. The Halloween Horror Nights Marathon of Mayhem Lagoon Show. Grab a bucket of popcorn and get ready as the lagoon lights up with iconic scenes from Netflix's Stranger Things, Ghostbusters, Universal Monsters and Killer Clowns from Outer Space. This new show features a blend of fountain-based media, state-of-the-art technologies and special effects in a new way. This is one 80s nightmare you won't want to miss. And it was awesome. And that brings us to this year. Let's just take a minute's silence. As we all know, Halloween Horror Nights 30 has been cancelled. It will be no more due to the COVID-19 pandemic, but if rumours were true and spec maps are to be believed, it looked like it was going to be an awesome year. So we hope that at least most of it will come back next year when Halloween Horror Nights returns in 2021. And that will conclude our trip through Halloween Horror Nights history. We just wanted to give a shout out to HHN Legacy for supplying the info for this edition. So for everyone who is sadly not heading out to the opening night of Halloween Horror Nights 30 tonight, or at all this year, we understand your pain, but we will see you next year. Sleep tight, internet. <laughs>